Hello, uh, my name is Professor Street and I will be your instructor um, throughout the semester for DVR 0061 online course. Um, this video will provide a general understanding or overview of how to navigate the Blackboard site. Um, first, I want you to take notice to the blue tabs on the left hand side of the page. These tabs provide you with uh, different content areas for our Blackboard site. The first tab that you will come to is the announcement tab. Under the announcement tab, which we are, is welcome and other um, important information that I might put up throughout the semester here. Check here first before you start um, the process of going to the different tabs. Um, if you scroll down, uh, a couple of things that I've posted here for you is how to get your textbook for cheaper. Um, if you want to buy uh, used or rent the book instead of actually um, buying the book outright, I believe the book is about $95 or so. I have that posted somewhere else, the exact price. Um, it's more expensive in the bookstore than it is um, actually on the Cengage site, uh, but uh, there are other options, cheapest uh, textbooks, half.com, and so forth. So please take a look at that. Also, for this semester, we'll be reading a novel. It's entitled Pick and Cotton, Our Memoir of Injustice and Redemption. Um, this book ranges about $10. You can find it for less if you get it for uh, use as well. So please uh, make note of that, that you will need this, I believe, by the third week of class. Another announcement that I put up here for your um, viewing is um, I have a Google Voice number. This it goes directly to me, so if you want to contact me when I'm not in my office, my office hours is posted in another location, you could use this phone number. Um, just uh, call it. Uh, it's going to ask you for your name, and then it will come directly to me. Please be appropriate when using this number um, as it goes to my cell phone, so make sure you're using business hours and um, and I will be available to discuss any questions or concerns that you may have. Um, the final thing that um, I have put note of in the announcement area is called Gender Software. It's a free software as of right now, and it actually helps with grammar, kind of um, helping you to restructure your sentences or how to rephrase the sentence that you may have. Um, if you get the other version, there's two versions. There's a free version and there's a paid version, but the free version, version works just fine as well. Another thing that I want to point out to you is the Start Here feature. When you select this feature, it's just a couple of things that it goes over. Um, it just provides you with um, some information about how each module is due every um, Sunday by 11.59 as expressed in the syllabus. It also tells you that we will be working with two softwares. One is Play.web. Web. Um, I will give you more information on that shortly. And Applia. Um, a software that comes with your textbook. You will need to get the access code for that. Um, there are different information of, I'm going over each tab with you, but in case you was to forget, um, these uh, right here provide you with the understanding of announcements, start here, syllabus, and what is in each particular tab. The next tab that I want to focus on is your syllabus and schedule. All right, so, um, feel free to either print um, it for future references or you can even just um, come to the Blackboard site as needed and view it. Um, it has the entire course syllabus and I'm going to open that at this time and go over just a couple of things with you for the course syllabus. <clears throat> so the first thing that you will notice when you go to the course syllabus is going to provide you with um, my name, um, also my office, um, location is in Marble Hall on the Largo campus. Uh, 2125 is the room number, my phone number for uh, my office, as well as office hours and my email address. The required books are listed here as well. Mindscapes, which is our textbook, um, which will have all our assignments as well as other things that I assign. And then uh, the novel that we will be reading, Pick and Cotton, for this semester. Um, as you scroll down, it provides you with information. Um, DBR061 is a prerequisite course for um, all credit level courses, so please make sure that you understand that you can get no lower than a C for this particular class. Um, another thing that I would like to mention on here is you have the department chair. Her name is Marion Terrain. If you have any concerns, first address them with me, then, then Marion Terrain, and then Dr. Beverly Reed. That's the chain of command. We have some classroom guidelines that are identified. Um, some of these are not uh, 
related to you as you don't have a class time because this is an online class um, and uh, late work is not accepted for online class so please be mindful of that as well um, we'll have lecture we'll have um, small group discussion actually online as well um, so we have a number of things that we will um, be doing this semester uh, what else can I make note of they have important dates listed or the important dates are listed on the course syllabus days that the college is closed um, days that it reopens um, it has last day to withdraw for this first half of the semester um, lab hours which you will have to do Plato web and master those that's what will count for your lab hours it will not be 15 hours um, it will just be um, you're finishing the Plato web and mastering that content um, another thing that I would like to as I scroll down um, make sure that if you are a student with a disability um, even with online please make sure that you utilize the services that are available to you um, that's in Bl Bladen Hall 124 um, or call them via voice and um, identify yourself as a person with disability and see what things that you need to do to get that done. We also offer tutorial assistance, um, so please make uh, use of this if you um, need to. And then lastly, I want to see, show you our syllabus um, course outline for this semester. Um, each week you will have a module open. It will open up on Monday and um, close out on Sunday at 11.59. Um, this week you will have uh, a lecture on active reading you will also have uh, three assignments one is called tag your it another one is your apartheid and jim crow laws um, so those will be due up by 11:59 um, on sunday the college is closed on monday uh, september 1st but because it's an online course the uh, content will still be available to you because you have to complete it by um, like i said at the end of the week um, it has uh, other information that's pertinent to your understanding um, as far as um, different assignments that we'll be working on, content chapters that we'll be working in, and Mindscapes and so forth, and different projects that we will do throughout the semester. So that's just a little quick view of the syllabus. Please check it out um, whenever you get an opportunity. Another thing is my contact information is once again listed here. Um, it's also in the syllabus, so it's in a couple of places the course um, learning objectives are identified in this particular folder and I'm going to click on course materials because I think this is important to you uh, Mindscapes critical reading skills and strategies is the book that we're reading and then uh, aptly access this is a software that goes along with um, the textbook if you buy it um, new it will be included if you do not buy it new it is not included and then the novel picking college I'm saying picking cotton, not college. Okay. Um, the next tab um, that I want to um, show you is um, one of the most important tabs of this semester is your modules and assignments. Here you will find all assignments, projects, and course materials that's necessary for you to pass the course. The first thing you'll come to is how to post an assignment. So Blackboard, please view this video um, before posting just to make sure that you have it accurately. And then um, it's both a video or you can just read the instructions. So once you are under modules and assignments, you'll see this. The first module for this is module one, student introduction to active reading strategies. The assignments for this week are posted here, but we have to click it open um, to actually view everything. So I'm looking at it from a student's view. So this is what you'll see. You'll click in here, active reading learning outcomes and objectives for this particular week are reflected here. And then um, you will see the lecture. This is the page, page one through eight. You just uh, click the arrow. It will take you to the next thing. It is a uh, PowerPoint. So if it doesn't come up for some reason on your laptop or desktop, then you would click um, the click here button but um, it, regen it generated automatically so it's at the, um, on my computer already click that open view that content take notes you do have a quiz on it next week so please make note of that um, the assignments are posted on here as well you have a tag your it discussion post 
you also have um, uh, an assignment for history of Jim Crow laws now please this is an online course so I stress you must read especially because it's an online reading course so please take note of directions I have step-by-step -step instructions of what to do there are two things that are reflected here there is an article on a brief hi history of Jim Crow laws you are to use the plan to review worksheet to complete this activity so you will have to download the plan to review worksheet you will have to download the the article for, for questions one through four you are going to do the, on the plan to review worksheet type in your answers um, before you read the article and then as you're reading the article you're going to fill out question five is taking notes and the question six to ten is the it's to be done in complete sentences and is based off of your reading you want to save and submit so these are instructions and then make sure you submit in order for me to receive it the next one assignment is history of apartheid there is a, a quick video it's about two minutes long and then you have step two there's an article that you need to read and step three there's another article and then you are to answer these questions for this one particular one you can hit the right submission feature or attach a word document and those instructions are under how to post an assignment to blackboard um, and then you want to hit submit when done and then I think I just made note that you have a quiz um, next week so please be mindful to take notes um, that you will have um, access to the quiz and lastly um, all our discussions will be done on discussion board so um, I just want you to note that um, our first one is click tag your it um, and we have other things that will be available to you as well um, finally um, Oh, not finally here's my faculty information it's all over the place so you should not be able to you shouldn't miss me um, quick links uh, this is a tool that you want to use for um, grading purposes it has your grades I will post diligently um, within a few days of you giving me content um, no later than a week it, it shouldn't be a week for um, unless it's a major project where I have to read extensively some papers but other than that your grades should go up fairly quickly and you will be able to see them by clicking on quick links my grades or they will be reflected in this particular area it will say your name and there's a place where um, your grades will be I won't I can't show you that because I'm not a student so I don't see that particular view point you can send emails to myself or your other classmates you have blackboard tools e-learning help library resources this gives you information you will have to take two tests um, on the the main campus Largo campus and in the testing center you you went to the testing center at the beginning of your um, uh, time at PGCC that's where you'll take your midterm and final exam in the testing center you will have a week to do that and that is specified on the course syllabus so this is just some general um, understanding of our course and the site um, I wish you the best um, this semester um, I am sure all of you will do well please um, don't give up if things get a little difficult let me know I am here to help you I want everyone to succeed and that is what I'm here for all right have a great semester and I look forward to interacting with you on our site oh one major thing I have to know if you do not interact with our site you will receive and that means doing assignments coming on here I can see that so please make sure you do that because if you don't you will receive a Q grade a Q grade is stating that you are not participating in the course and financial aid will be revoked from you immediately and you will be pulled from the course all right so I don't want to leave on a bad note so once again have a great semester and I will be seeing you on online soon